Hey guys, today is May the 6th of 2013 and I want to go over the Euro and just let you know my thoughts and uh, letting you know also this is an educational video only so please consult a professional financial advisor. I'm not that one. I'm just a guy that looks at trend lines, support lines and uh, indicators and just pretty much give you a rough or like you know what I think the Euro is doing and what you know key levels to watch out and you know you do what you want to do with your own money and just know that it's risky and with that being said let's get into the charts. So this is price and time, and this is where we're at, inside day bar right here. You know, Euro is just stuck in this range and in this range. So if you want to be scalping, you could probably be scalping right here. Uh, this is a key level you got to watch, that 3090, uh, that uh, 38.2 Fibonacci level is at 3072, and this angle right here, which would be the 3133 and uh, the days as they go by they go higher so you know 31 32 it just keeps going higher not by much and the resistance if we pop just keep an eye on that 31 87 and then uh between today and tomorrow that 32 actually we just got to get over that 3200 you know we just got to get over here and if we get we do get over here you know we just got to deal with this uh, angle right here 32 48 and if we get over there then we could go higher let's uh, look at the monthly grid these are the big levels, and I don't think nothing's changed. Just want to let you know that 3053 is a key level. That's the 61.8 Fibonacci level. So we're just kind of hanging, you know. If we if we crack with momentum, keep an eye on that 2868 uh, for support on that uh, one by one angle on the monthly uh, chart. Uh, let's see uh, for possible turns. I wanted to show you a couple of dates I uh, have in mind. I got three. I got 512, and I got the 22nd. Uh, these are just geometric, never mind these angles, these are just geometric calculations I do. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So, you know, I just want to just give you a heads up. The 12th, the 22nd, uh, I believe the 12th is a Sunday night. Uh, let's see, just to make sure. Yeah, Sunday night. Uh, the 22nd, I believe, is a Wednesday. And then this 8th. Uh, coming up, this Wednesday coming up is another date I'm I'm going to be watching uh, the Euro really closely. Uh, I found on the internet some uh, astro trader with the natal uh, birth chart of the Euro, you know, something with Jupiter and whatnot, and there could be a possible change of trend on May 17th. So that's another day you might want to watch and you know keep an eye. You know, it may happen, may not, but I figure you know doesn't hurt just to at least know these certain dates. Uh, that I'm watching and an outside source, you know, claiming that May 17 could be a possible uh, change of trend. Meaning that I don't know if it's going up or it's going down. You know, we'll, we will see. Well, let's glance this chart. Let's glance this euro and let's see what's really, you know, underlying here. As you can see, I added my market profile uh, and it's just showing you this key level right here, that 3056. It's pretty much the line in the sand uh, besides this pivot point on uh, my monthly PP. And, you know, you're in the cloud and then you have this uh, Fibonacci level uh, right here. You got the 50 right here and uh, this is the 50. And then you have this uh, Fibonacci level right here, which is a 38.2%. Uh, percent. So, you know, you have to just keep an eye on these levels and see what's happening. Let's get closer and see. And it's just pretty much chop mode. You're in the uh, MOBO and you're above, uh, yeah, you're below the 20. Uh, next support will probably be this uh, 50 right here. Uh, and, you know, you got the Cajun right there. You got, you know, S1 weekly. And you got this big, you know, support line right here where price is just being chopped and it's just a lot of just buying and selling right here but you're in the cloud you know the future is kind of looking positive not you know really too excited on that but you know it's it could just continue going down you know find support here and it, it, it could just go anywhere here so it's it's just ugly when it's in the candle uh, on the cloud uh, let's look at the weekly and see what we got there and the weekly, you're pretty much same key level over here, which is that 3074. The good thing about it is that you're out of the cloud, but look at all the stuff you got to deal with. You got to deal with that 20. You got to deal with that Cajun. You got to deal with this linear regression line, which is the medium. And then you have that uh, 100 right here as resistance. Uh, and you got this big line right here from the Kumo cloud that could, you know, be an issue that looked like we already hit it right here and that's why we just can't or almost hit it which is at 3147 
ish around there that we can you know but you have support here and then you have the uh, uh, linear regression medium line right here you got the uh, tank in right there uh, you have you know the end of the mobile and you got the 50 you know and you got some support over here too from the linear regression so you know it's a weekly just showing you what I see just pretty much you know we could just get over that uh, 3088 and continue up you know these are the levels you gotta watch on the upside uh, let's uh, look at the big picture and see what we got going on over there you guys know the drill I got my monthly weekly daily and a 12 hour I added a MOBO uh, indicator just to kind of let you know you know what's chop what's not and you know what's going on as of right now you know you're failing the uh, you fail the 20 you are kinda dancing around the 50 and you got this uh, Fibonacci level so but this is not looking good it's just looking more that it's, it wants to go down um, you got negative on Tima this is what keeps you like in trend. Mobile is lining up with Tima, negative. You know, the MACD is just pointing down on the 12 hour. This is kind of just going sideways. Not really much going on. Um, this kind of like showed like it was going to go up, and now you're getting sell signals on the Fisher. So it's still looking like it wants to just trend lower, maybe go under the uh, 100 level. Uh, just fail. The 50 MMG, this looks like it's just trending lower, and you've already been negative on the TTM shortwave. You're on the weekly, you're like chop, you got three bars, three candles that are red, you know, you fail the 100, you fail the 356 simple moving average. You got this Fibonacci level right here, That's a, that you got to just keep an eye on, and you know, you got the tip of the mobile right there. You got the 50 that could be support, and you got the 200 that could be support. This looks like it wants to just crack down. This is already negative. This is just going sideways. This is just building up momentum to the downside. You just had a green candle, which was the last one. And this is kind of lining up. You know, these two are kind of lining up together. You know, let me just clean this up. These two are lining up together, pointing down. And with the weekly, which I don't really like either. Because you need the green one and then the purple one. And then this is look like it wants to go down. You fail MMG, you're on a squeeze play on the daily. And this looks like it just wants to go down. Pressure just building up. It's going to pop and it looks like it wants to pop to the downside. Short term TTM, negative. You know, on the weekly, it's kind of interesting. You have three uh, green candles. You got a PPS buy signal. But, you know, you're failing the 20, the 100. You're kind of like on chop mode on the MOBO. And uh, you got this Fibonacci level that if you crack that, then you got to deal with the bottom MOBO here. And then you got to deal with the 50, which is at 28.87. Tima is negative. Uh, MOBO is negative. This is just going sideways. This is going sideways. You had two bars yesterday of yellow on the TTM squeeze and now it's turned red. So that doesn't look good. If this thing just gets lower here, then, you know, the pressure is more to the downside. Interesting, this is pointing up, you know, pr uh, uh, buying pressure going up. But it's not looking good. It's more chop, kind of leaning more to the downside. On the monthly, you know, you're still on the mobile uh, band, so you're in chop mode, and this is just kind of like eh, sideways. This is just sideways, sideways. Doesn't look good. Pointing down. Doesn't look good. It's just pointing down, and you have a squeeze play on the monthly. So uh, April and May, price has been contained uh, there. Let's look at uh, my part two and see on the thermal. We'll see if there's anything that we see there. Uh, part two right here. My thermal cloud, if there's any uh, insight there, it's just only two indicators, um, which is on the 12 hour and the uh, daily, and that's not looking good. It's uh, this is all good right here, you know, but that's what happened right here, and now we're back down, and this is getting red and is building up. Once this all is red, it's just negative. This is just going to go really down on the 12 hour and uh, this looked like it went negative and now it's kind of turning positive uh, but it looks like it's kind of start building up so I don't know between tonight and maybe tomorrow I'll have a better understanding on um, on the thermo but 
the 12 hour is letting me know that it's just not you know looking good um, here so you know we'll see and this is kinda eh. I'll get a better picture tonight but I hope uh, you guys uh, got a good insight on my thoughts I'm just on the sidelines just watching maybe some there's some better plays out there on some of the uh, currencies but hope you enjoy this video and I'll let you know my thoughts as I see things uh, developing peace